Hello, welcome back to this video and today we're going to continue from this side doing the charms on the second quadrant now. We're going to do for the snakes, we're going to go for the snakes on the second quadrant. If the first one was the one that you have on the top and inside, the second one is going to be the one that you have on the bottom and inside. And as I said before, snake is anything that goes around the stick as if it was a snake going around the stick. So we're going to do the same thing, but if we start from the bottom, what we have to go is up first and then down after. And I'm actually going to choose the other side and I'm going to get slightly closer so you can perceive these. So you have block, again, forming your quadrants, in this case forming the cross, and you're going to come from underneath and you're going to go up and down. As you can see, you're trying to trap at the end the puño. When you do, what you're going to do is secure the puño and the hand, and as you can see, naturally, once you have done this, your stick is going to be on the outside of your arm, and then you can use that to attack the lower body. No. Obviously, keep in mind that if you're in shorter range, and only if you're in shorter range, you can actually attack the top of the head, but your hands are still going to be crossed. So most of the times, you're going to be using this to attack the ribs. So where are the arms? In this case, after you have managed to do these, again, one and two, in this case, as I said before, is up and down. You're going to trap, and you're going to attack the ribs, as I was saying before. And after that, the function of this is to peel, like you peel a banana, basically. You're going to peel through the fingers. Now, Obviously, the grip is very strong, so you're going to take advantage of the strike to kind of peel it in the same direction. And this will be the first disarm that you're going to do. As you can see, it's still very challenging. That's why we are going to have different variations. So first one, as I said before, is going to be a simple one to a strike. And once you strike, uh, once you strike, you pull at the same time. So you take advantage of that to pull. So you have to do two motions at once. So it will be this. As you can see, I'm striking and pulling in opposite directions. Second one, once you're here, you're going to come underneath doing the same thing, but now I'm going to lay this on top and I'm going to aid the same pulling by pushing down with my, uh, uh, in this case, with my stick, pushing down with 45 degrees towards the back of the person at the same time that I pull back their stick like this. So I'm going to repeat that one more time. One and two here, one, two, strike, lay on top and uh, release. Remember that all of that is going to be obviously much, much quicker, so it's easier for you to perceive once you have a little bit of speed, but if you're learning, you won't be able to see much that way. So again, I'm gonna repeat the second one. It's gonna be one and down, chopping the stick, striking up and going towards the other side. Very similarly, but now exaggerating the motion will be up and look at what I do when I go down. I'm going to strike and I'm going to step towards the side and I'm going to go inwards. I'm going to do the same thing, but now I'm going to kind of push down with my right hand and pull towards myself with the left one like this. So I'm going to get closer. One, two, three. So you can see once I'm here, I'm going to pull now towards my right hip at the same time that I'm pushing uh, with my right hand towards the back of the person, like this. So one more time, one and two, strike, stepping already towards the side, and this is important. Once you're here, you're gonna push in opposite direction, pushing with your right hand downwards and left hand pulling towards your left hip, like this. Now, obviously, as I said before, when you do it slightly quicker, it's going to be easier for you to perceive the motion. So it's easier for you to see, not necessarily perceive every single detail, but perceive why that might work. Uh, last one, we're gonna do the same thing, but now I'm gonna exaggerate it even further by going towards the opposite side. In this case, I'm gonna go and move towards the left side, and I'm gonna do the same thing. In that case, you're gonna emphasize the pushing towards the back, but you're gonna actually try to target the armpit. Again, one more time here, striking, and now look, I'm going slightly higher. I'm gonna try to target more of the armpit, although the top of the bicep is still being affected, and push in opposite direction. Now, you might ask yourself, why do you think that's going to work? Well, first of all, when you strike the ribs, that's going to be very painful. But the second thing, I don't just do this. I'm still pressing the ribs. And let's actually go slightly uh, backwards so the people can see. I'm still pressing against the ribs as I do this. So you can imagine if after potentially breaking the ribs, someone keeps pushing in the same area. So obviously, it's going to be very painful. One more thing that I was going to say is, and I should actually emphasize that from the very beginning, but now that I'm going to uh, emphasize that, keep in mind that this is probably the most important thing. The other person might be able to hit you, so you always have to have the chance to lean back and escape that. That's also one of the reasons why I've included so many options in which you're going to be moving inwards and outwards, so that way you kind of get out of that punch. 
Obviously, as usual, you also have to be mindful of the legs, uh, but at this range, it's going to be difficult for the other person to kick you with a lot of power. You can still kind of like check them much, much easier. Be mindful that when you do that, the main threat is going to be that hand. So that's why you have to remain with the capacity for you to leave out of way. So as usual, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this is useful. And if you like it, please click like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Oosh.